Hello everyone, I am back with a brand new Let's Play. It is Mega Bomberman for the Sega Genesis. Made in 1994 by Hudson Soft. And yes, this is going to be completely different um, than my previous Let's Play, which was Donkey Kong Country. So I thought I'm going to go back to another classic. And this was my favourite Bomberman game of all time. And it still is now. So we're going to begin with the first area, which is Jammin' Jungle. And it's the very first stage. So the main plot of this game is um, Bomber Planet has been split into five pieces, which have been scattered. Or have been split apart. And it's now our mission um, to gather the pieces and put them back one by one together and reform the Earth and stop the evil once and for all. So let's do it. And I don't know what that idiot's doing, but he's dead now. And yes, there are several items that you can find in many different levels. But the key ones that you have to get um, are the fire and more bombs like that. But you gotta be careful because the more flames you collect, um, the further it can reach. So that's gonna be a, a key factor. And, but you can use them to trap enemies as well. But be careful because if you get hit by the fire of your own bomb, you lose a life. So be careful of that. As you can see here, there is a dino egg, which contained a Louie. And there are five different types of these guys, uh, which you will see hopefully throughout this adventure mode. So as you've seen here, we've just got the green one, and he's the speed type. Which he is very useful for getting away from bombs and enemies, but he'll only stop in the direction where he's going until he hits a wall or a block or something. But do careful not to charge an enemy at it, otherwise he will die. Um, so I might as well explain the other Louis because uh, we might not see them just in case. Um, so um, the pink one is is this where he dances. Not very useful. Uh, the, the blue one, he can kick bombs out of the way. Um, the purple one can jump. And the blue one can um, kick bombs. Uh, my two favourite ones are the one I've got right now and the purple one. Because they make such a difference. Um, and they're going to be quite useful, um, probably for the boss fights. Because that's what I'm going to need the most. And another good thing about them is that um, they can also take an extra hit for you. Um, so if you're struggling on a certain level, and you want to go back, um, just get one of these Louis and then you should be good to go. And these crystal orb things you need to destroy every single one of them on the map. And if you do so, um, you'll hear a ching sound. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Like, say like, like so. And then the protective case will disappear. And, and you can get the piece to end the level. And the one thing, and I don't know why, I just like to destroy every blimmin' block. Because that's just me. Because it's, it's Bomberman for a reason. It's all about blowing blocks up. And enemies as well. Which is all fun. So we got two 
pieces. One more to get. Which we're going which we're going to right now. And there is a cool little sequence that happens at the end of each stage. Because when you get the piece, uh, if there's any blocks left standing, they will turn into coins, and they're worth um 500 points each, I believe, I believe. And if you get them all, uh, you'll get the same victory animation. So I'm just going to um, take care of this guy, and I'll show off um, his ability. Right here. See, look, he'll, like I said, he'll only stop in, if he hits a wall or a block. So just be precautious on how you how much you use them. And there is a cool power up um, which you will only see in the campaign mode. Unfortunately not in the battle mode. This was the invincibility. Uh, when you can just mash the button that you plant the bombs with, this will happen. Which is kinda useful. But be careful on how much you use it, because it only lasts for a certain period of time. And if you keep doing that, by the time it wears off, you either um, lose your friend here, or you will die. So, just be aware of that. Oh, and it comes to some... I don't know what the heck that is. Kind of a mouser head circle type guy, but he's dead now. <laughs> oh, there's another Louis egg. You know what? I'm not going to destroy it because I'm not that cruel. Yeah, trapped him. You're gone. So I'm just going to show it off this end sequence here. Okay, look, they'll turn into coins, and then you'll have 15 seconds to collect all of them as you can. And enough of that, it's time now to face the boss. Seems that we've gathered everything. And it's a monkey with a remote control and a radioactive banana. Yeah, he is relatively easy. Always go for the monkey, which he's, he is the main source. Hit him four times, and he's done. That quick, in 16 seconds. And his backside's on fire, hits the wall, knocked out, and disappears from existence. And with that, Jamming Jungle is complete. So I'm going to call it apart here. Um, but first, we'll slide our first piece back in. Like so. And I will see you next time for part two, where we will tackle the Vexen Volcano. No doubt more um, tricks are going to come our way, but we will be prepared for that. So until then, this is me signing out. See you in the next part. Until then, bye-bye.